Why is the calendar table so important in Power BI? And what is the best way to create a calendar table? Let's find out. Calendar table is perhaps the most important table in Power BI. And we're going to explore this topic in a series of videos, starting with understanding why should I use a calendar table? And if I do need it, what's the best way to create it? I'll share with you my favorite calendar table trick, month offsets, and that's gonna make your life so much easier. We'll talk about fiscal year calendars, you know, the funny ones that end in June or October or a different month. We'll have some fun creating a calendar table using a dynamic date range. And who knows, maybe we'll run into other fun calendar table topics and cover those as well. So maybe you're asking, Avi, why do I need a calendar table? I'm doing just fine without it. My friend, I don't think you know what you're missing. I've been building Power BI models since 2009, and to date, I have not built a model which did not have a calendar table. My rule is simple. If there's a date field in your model, you shall create a calendar table. That's it. Well, okay, but you never said why is it important? Well, it's important for two reasons. The first is time intelligence. And there is another one, but I'm gonna save that one for later. Now, time intelligence is covered inside the Learn Power BI main course in the time intelligence lessons. But let me recap here. You must have a calendar table to be able to use any time intelligence functions. Well, okay, Avi, I get it. I wanna use time intelligence functions. I know they're incredibly powerful. So what do I need? Well, this is what you're gonna need. You need a calendar table and it really has only two requirements. It needs a date column and make sure that the data type is set to date. And that column has to have contiguous dates. That means you can't skip any dates. But Avi, we don't, you know, we're not open on weekends. Can I skip those? No, you can't. Well, what about if we are closed in December for Christmas holidays? Nope, you can't. You gotta have a contiguous date range. So really the date column is all you need in the date table or the calendar table as far as Power BI is concerned. All of the other columns, well, they're needed for us humans. And I'll talk more about that later. Got that, Avi. But what date range do I need in my calendar table? Well, the date range should fully clothe or cover the data in your tables. So if you have a sales records from year 2014 to 2017, your calendar table should at least have that range. It can be bigger, that's okay too. Now it's time to reveal the second reason for the calendar table. It serves as a lookup table and perhaps the most important lookup table ever. Now we have talked about lookup tables and data tables at multiple spots inside the course and for good reason because it's one of the fundamental concepts in Power BI. But let's do a quick recap. Data tables represent a business process. They capture information about the process, in this case, sales. Now lookup tables are the who, what, where, when, how. So if the sale occurred, who bought it? What did they buy? When did they buy it? Where did they buy it? And how did they buy it? So here, the calendar table represents the crucial when. But if you think about it, it's not that different from other lookup tables. Let's compare calendar table with the product table. Now, product table has a unique key which connects it to the data tables, the product key. Calendar table has a key as well. The date column is its key. Now, don't worry, if your data is not at a daily level, let's say it's monthly or quarterly, you can still connect it to your calendar table. Now, going back to product, besides the key, it has a rich set of attributes that let it slice let us slice and dice the data. We can look at sales by product category, subcategory, model name, etc. The same way calendar table also has a rich set of attributes that lets us slice and dice the data. We can look at it uh, sales by year, month, quarter, weekday, etc. So these are the two key reasons for having a calendar table. Ability to use time intelligence functions and it also serves as a very important lookup table. So I hope you're never gonna go without a calendar table in your model 
And in the next video, I'm going to show you what's the best way to create a calendar table. And it's super easy. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.